flying has kind of always been a passion of mine. I got my private pilot's license when I was in high school. I'm an airline pilot for Delta Airlines. My wife, uh, Christine, I've been married to her for about 32 years. We uh, have four children here, two boys, two girls, that uh, we raised here on this farm. Rusty always knew he wanted to be a pilot, and he worked really hard at it. There were a lot of times when he just hung out at the airport watching airplanes. If you had something that you absolutely loved and you couldn't do it, I think it would be devastating. As a pilot, we have to have two physicals uh, every year, and at one of those physicals, you're required to have an EKG. They discovered I was in atrial fib, which was unbeknownst to me. I'm, I had run that day and had no symptoms whatsoever. I was not able to maintain a first-class physical, which kept me out of the flight deck, and basically, I was grounded. Rusty told me about how much AFib or atrial fibrillation had affected his work um, as a pilot, and, and this had significant implications. We chose to use Biosense Webster's mapping system, and that allows us to tell exactly how much we're pushing the tissue, how much force we're putting into the tissue, which will not only improve the chances of a successful ablation, but also minimize complications. When I first got back to work, I remember looking out and saying, I'm back. I loved it. I was so happy to be back because I, I did miss the cockpit. I did miss the flight deck. I missed the people I worked with. I, I missed the, uh, the interaction. We always see patients a year later to see how, if the procedure was successful, how they have been doing. I'm there in the, uh, the doctor's office. The nurse comes in, takes your vitals and a little chit chat. And I told her I just returned from uh, Japan yesterday and, and she made a comment. She said, well, Dr. Osorio has been traveling as well. He's been in Asia. He asked me, doctor, I heard you've been, uh, you've been overseas. Where are you coming from? And I told him, I said, I'm just coming from Japan. And he had a... Uh, had a look on his face and he asked me, really, where, where did you fly from? And I said, from Tokyo. And he said, I was your pilot. It was amazing to see the true impact that my procedure, that our treatment had on his life. I mean, he was back doing what he likes. He was back flying planes. His life was, was in my hands and, and a year later, my life was, was in his hands. And, and I think that's a very, neat way to look at it and very special. Being able to return to flying status, it gave me the opportunity to kind of reflect a little bit. I started in 1978 as a co-pilot on the Convair 580. And here I am in my 40th year later, flying the Airbus A350. I look back and I think about my career, where it has been, where it has gone, and where it has taken me. I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do a job that I love so much. I've got a strong family. We've got a strong faith. And I just uh, can't thank my lucky stars enough.